Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to just turn normal footage like this into da 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 horror footage. It's extremely easy. Yes, this is a color correction tutorial. Um, and uh, yeah, I can probably show you how to do this in about five minutes. So go ahead and check the end of the video length, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see if I make five minutes or not. Um, if you want to download this footage, I have a link in the description to Mediafire. So you just click the link click download it's that simple nothing crazy uh, like some of the other places um, okay so new project and uh, import the footage it'll be wherever you saved it so I don't really you know, have any control over that um, so drag that into your comp and see what we got here we got oh my gosh why did Luke convince me to do this I cannot believe I'm doing this Oh man, why am I doing this? It's too bright. Oh, okay, I'm done now. So, uh, that's that's the footage. And uh, so we're going to start off by adding a curves adjustment. So uh, type into effects and presets curves, and then drag it on. Um, another another thing you could do if you don't if you don't have effects and presets open, um, you can hit uh, Control Five, I believe. No, Control. Yeah, Control Five will bring up effects and presets. Um, or you can click Window, Effects and Presets. Um, or if you don't want to open Effects and Presets, I like it because it's really convenient. But if you don't want to open Effects and Presets, you can click just Effect, Color Correction, uh, Curves, and just do it that way. Um, okay, so now getting back to what we were doing. Click Curves, um, and drag the, this down slightly. These are the brights, and these are the darks, and you're just sort of telling how bright you want the brights to be and how dark you want the uh, darks to be. So, let's see, drag the darks down a little bit too, because we want really high contrast. Um, and I guess give it a little little contrast curve. That's probably good, but I might go back and change it. So, if you, if you don't understand what I'm doing, you can just copy these points, and um, it should look exactly the same. So now let's go to the red channel, and horror footage is not usually red or you know creepy footage or whatever. It's not. It's not. It doesn't usually have all this red to it. So we're gonna take uh, that down and then pull this in. And let me see. Slide that up a little bit, I guess. And now go to the green channel and give that a slight boost. And maybe take that down a teeny little bit too. And depending on what you want, you might want a lot brighter, darker. I'm going to take it down a little bit. Uh, and co you go to the blue channel, and we're going to give that a slight boost too. Like that. And let me see if I can take out a little bit more red. There, that is pretty good. Um. And yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now this is awfully colorful. Um, so like his eyes look really pretty. It's 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 awfully colorful, and horror footage is also not extremely colorful usually, um, unless you know, except blood. But you, you know, uh, so we're going to add hue and saturation effect. So just type it into effects and presets, or again, like I said, do you know effect blah blah blah. Um, so right here, and then drag the saturation down to make it closer to black and white, but not completely. So let's take it to right about there. Uh, minus 39 is what I'm doing. And that that keeps the color, but it makes it look much, much creepier. Um, so that is pretty much the end of my color correction. Oh, also, you can play with the lightness, I guess, if you want to make it a little bit darker, but I'm just going to leave that where it was. Um, there. Okay. So uh, another thing you can do to your footage, I mean, that's that's the end of the color correction part of what I'm doing, but if you want to make it look creepier, another another thing you can do um, is make a vignette right here. Uh, oops, sorry about that. Uh, put, a, put a vignette on this. Uh, so create a new solid, make it sure it's black, make comp size, okay. And so now there's a black layer on top of our footage. Um, click the rectangle tool and you click and hold and then drag down to the ellipse tool or I think you can just hit Q to toggle through uh, if you want um, and then just double click it and you get a circle 
or ellipse, you know. Now click the mask and set this to subtract so that way we are taking away a circle rather than adding it. And I'm sorry if you guys like know all this stuff, but I'm just trying to keep it simple for the um, people who, who don't know what I'm doing because I know when I started it was really, really confusing watching all these tutorials and having no idea what anything meant. Um, okay, so click the drop down and set the feather turn turn the feather oh and by the way if you guys have these on uh, I think it's usually yellow I like it orange but um if you have these I don't know what they are uh, lines on you can click this uh, so that you don't see them and you just see the effects it's just sort of the on off for seeing where your mask is um, and for this you're gonna want it off so uh, turn the feather way 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 up like that um, 770 is what I'm doing, but I, and then you can play with the expansion a little bit to see how dark you want it. So like that maybe. Um. So yeah, that uh, if I turn it off, so you can see we had that, we made it that. It looks looks creepier. Maybe that's too dark. You can hit T, um, and then drag the transparency down. So like I mean, you could just have a very like a more subtle effect. Depending on depending on what you want, I mean, you could you could do that with anything, um, but you do probably want to make sure it's black because that'll make it darker, and if it's white, it's lighter. And anyway, you get you get it. Um, so just play with it till you're happy, and you will get something horrifyingly creepy like this. Ah. And to again show you, we started with. This is the footage we started with, and this is what we ended with. So, pretty big difference. Alright guys, I will catch you later in another tutorial. Thanks for watching, go ahead and click subscribe if you want. Uh, I'm going to keep posting effects and uh, tutorials on this channel. The next tutorial is probably going to be much more advanced. Um, and all my effects, by the way, are pre-keyed, so you can just drag it on your footage, and boom, it's ready to go. You don't need to take out a background or anything, unlike most of the other free footage on YouTube. So you might want to take advantage of that and uh, subscribe so that you'll see whenever I got new stuff for you. Um, if you use this effect in a video or anything like that, go ahead and leave it as a video response. I'd love to check it out. I'll leave feedback for you um, on how well you did. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay.